Welcome to the St. Michael Advent podcast series. My name is Eric Lyles, and I will be leading our meditation today. Our theme this Advent is hope. May you be blessed for the Christian journey. The glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together. A reading from Luke chapter 20, verses 9 through 18. Jesus began to tell the people this parable. A man planted a vineyard and leased it to tenants and went to another country for a long time. When the season came, he sent a slave to the tenants in order that they might give him his share of the produce of the vineyard. But the tenants beat him and sent him away empty-handed. Next, he sent another slave That one also they beat and insulted and sent away empty-handed. And he sent yet a third. This one also they wounded and threw out. Then the owner of the vineyard said, What shall I do? I will send my beloved son. Perhaps they will respect him. But when the tenants saw him, they discussed it among themselves and said, This is the heir. Let us kill him so that the inheritance may be ours. So they threw him out of the vineyard and killed him. What then will the owner of the vineyard do to them? He will come and destroy those tenants and give the vineyard to others. When the people heard this, they said, Heaven forbid! But Jesus looked at them and said, What then does this text mean? The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. Everyone who falls on that stone will be broken to pieces, and it will crush anyone on whom it falls. Here ends the reading. If we allow ourselves to really listen to this reading today, we're going to ask ourselves some challenging questions. It's been a common practice when hearing this parable to juxtapose historic Judaism and Christianity. The parable of the wicked tenants is a tough one to hear in light of all the anti-Semitism in the world today. In actuality, this parable speaks not into history, but rather today to you and to me, encouraging us to examine how we are treating all that God has entrusted to us. Being a disciple of Jesus means serving as a good steward to all that God has given us. If we understand that this parable is about God's vineyard, God's own kingdom on earth, look closely at who is to take care of the vineyard. The owner builds the vineyard, plants the vines, and then leases it to tenants. It is up to the tenants to take care of the vines and to properly distribute their fruit. All the owner wants is their share of the produce. The owner isn't asking that the tenants give the vineyard back. The owner doesn't demand an exorbitant fee. The owner simply wants what is theirs by right and agreement. The owner sends one servant to collect, then another, then a third. This owner is persistent and will not relent. Finally, the owner sends his own son, each time only asking for what rightly belongs to him. Because the tenants kill the son, the owner comes and destroys them, but then, again, gives the vineyard to new tenants to care for. I wonder if these new tenants will do what is right and agreed upon, or if they will act as wickedly as the previous tenants. You and I have been entrusted with the message and the work of God's good kingdom on earth, God's own vineyard, will we gladly give to God what already belongs to God? Or will we, like the wicked tenants, beat, mock, and kill God's messengers in order to keep as much for ourselves as possible? It is a gift to be entrusted with the fruits of God's vineyard. Let us generously give back to God what is God's, and so continue to be blessed as good stewards of God's creation. Amen. Please join me as we continue with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. O Heavenly Father, who has filled the world with beauty, open our eyes to behold your gracious hand in all your works, that rejoicing in your whole creation, we may learn to serve you with gladness. For the sake of him through whom all things were made, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen.